Dear God, thank you for this joyous day. Thank you for your light that has entered Gatlin and Blair's life. Dear Gatlin, nothing I can put in this letter can explain how much I love you. I need you in my life forever. You are my everything. You are the reason, the reason I smile, the reason I laugh. Every day is full of hope and love because you are in my life. I want to continue my journey of life only with you. I want to travel with you, have children with you, and grow old with you. I have prayed for you all of my life. God truly made us for each other. Let's follow his fate for us. I will meet you at the altar. I love you, Blair. Dear Blair, today is the day that we will be united together as one. We are about to join our bodies and families through marriage. While we are preparing for one of the biggest days of our lives, try to remember how much our relationship has grown, where and how we met, all the fun things we have done, all the places we've been, the arguments that let us grow, and all the love that we've shared. I hope that we will always be able to remember this day, the day where we will promise to be our best for each other and any others that we create or care for. I do not have any doubts in my mind about the woman I am about to say I do to. Lastly and most importantly, we need to thank God for bringing us together and letting us be here for this moment. I love you forever and ever. Oh, wow. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Can't make me cry. I know. I cry. You look beautiful. He's going to love it. Are you ready? Sure. As long as you're I'm going to be there. All right. I love you. Right. Let us pray. Please bless this union. Help Gatlin and Blair find the perfect place in this world for their love to flourish. Let the radiant light of love shine on all those around them. May their future creations be blessed. God bless them with the inner gift of trust, compassion, forgiveness, and truth, so that they may live and grow together in love and peace. Amen.
I take you, Blair, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise in the presence of God to be your best friend and true love. I take you, Gavin, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise in the presence of God to be your best friend and true love when we are rich and when we are poor. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your beautiful bride. May I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Gatlin and Blair Howell. Always think about the day when your sister will get married, right? Who is the man that is going to take this little girl that I have looked after every day of her life until she became a woman? And Gatlin, I'm so happy that it is you, my friend. Like, I cannot be happier. Not only is he a good guy, he's a, he's a good friend. He, he's, he's intelligent. He's hardworking. I watched what he did at NC State. And, they stayed together through all of it. So I am so happy to say that she is now Blair Starling Howell and Gatlin. Thank you so much for that. And I am proud to call you my brother. Thank you, man. And I still believe to this day, Walt Disney had a little bit to do with it because there was some magic pixie dust spread on her and she soared her whole life. I watched her. At everything she ever did, she did it better than everyone else. She worked harder than everyone else. And then she grew into this. It just pulls at my heart. When he asked for her hand, we had barbecue. He offered to pay. I wouldn't let him. But uh, <laughs> we had a good time that day. And all I can tell you, if you'll love her as much as I love her mom, you'll be good. Thank you, Lord, for the occasion which has brought us here today, the celebration of marriage of Blair and Gatlin.